Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Vanessa, welcome. And to my fellow subscribers, hey, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna be doing an eyebrow hack I've been seeing on Instagram and YouTube. But I want to give it a try and show you guys if this works or not. My I do have pretty full eyebrows. I do have sparse areas, but I my eyebrows are filled in right now. So I will be taking off my makeup so you guys kind of see a before and after. I just want my eyebrows to be kind of tinted and a little bit more color than my regular natural eyebrows. So I just want to give it a try and see how it works. But I'm taking one for the team. So if I look crazy, I'm going to blame it on you guys. But <laughs> it's okay. We'll see how it turns out. We'll just give it a try. So this is what it looks like. It's a mustache and beard brush on color gel so it's like a hair dye but it's specially for men's beards so this is what i've been seeing everybody use so i decided to give it a try so let me go rinse off my makeup and then i'll be back okay you guys i cleaned off my makeup so this is what my eyebrows look like this is what i'm working with so we'll see if there's we will see if there's any improvement. Let's put my hair back because I ain't trying to get no dye up in this hair or else we're gonna have problems. Okay, so it comes with this mustache and beard color developer. And it comes with this dark brown color base. Damn, it even comes with like little gloves, dang. So it comes with little gloves. And then this little small looking toothbrush. How cool is this? Directions. Before the coloring, take the allergy test. According to the instructions inside the box, do not shampoo or wet your hair before coloring. Okay, how to color hair. Put on the gloves provided and squeeze color base and natural color developer into... Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to show you it also. It comes with the tray as well. I forgot to show you guys that it comes with a tray. The gloves provided and squeeze color based on natural color developer into the tray and mix thoroughly until color is uniform. After thoroughly mixing color, apply immediately. Do not store. So just use a little bit um, as you go because whatever you use and mix is probably not going to be good no more. So it's like a one-time use. What's step two? Step three, brush up and down gently to cover all hair evenly prepare more product as needed leave color in for five minutes as a vibrant color penetrates deeply into the hair disregard any leftover mixture okay step four rinse product off hair with warm water in the shower until after runs clear facial hair thoroughly in the shower with shampoo not soap bar Always rinse shampoo in the shower. Always rinse and shampoo in the shower, even if you only color a small portion of your hair. Towel dry as usual. Okay. I feel like I don't really need the gloves. Like I'm not gonna use them, and then I'm gonna regret it because I have yellow nails and it probably stained. Okay, I might use them. I don't know. So let's brush my eyebrows first. Also, want to use petroleum jelly. So I feel like a lot of people are using this so you don't stain your skin outside of your eyebrow and you kind of want to have a guideline of where you want to um, put the hair dye. So what I'm going to do, what I didn't see anybody else doing is I'm going to do, I'm trying to be safe y'all, like these eyebrows better look bomb -om, or I'm going to be mad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put concealer. I'm going to map out where I want the hair dye to go. So just go... Slowly, slowly, that way I know where to put my hair dye. So I want my eyebrows there, sorry if I'm like in the way. So I want to make sure that they're even. That looks about right, and then I want to do this area, this area. What I want to do is use a Q-tip, or if you have another brush, eyeshadow brush, and go over that. So that way, if you get any hair color 
outside of your eyebrow area that way you don't get it on your skin so i'm just kind of going over that if it looks crazy it's fine you rather be safe than sorry this is what i'm doing look at what i'm doing for y'all to test this hack so i'm just gonna add as much as i can because you know you just never know once you go in you start like you know when you put in a mascara you ended up getting it getting it everywhere and then sorry if i'm looking this way but my mirror is right here so it's just a little bit easier for me that's why i'm not like but I, I am trying to look into the camera developer um so here's the color the dye the color so now i'm gonna use a little toothbrush so that way i can mix it evenly this is what it looks like it looks like boogers ale gross so i'm just mixing it really really well i'm gonna use an angle brush so i have more control of where the dye is gonna go <gasps> wish me luck guys so i'm gonna put it here so since i mapped out my brows i'm just gonna go inside of the brow and really work the product in you guys i ain't gonna lie i'm a little bit scared but i hope it turns out really good and i'm like and and no eyebrows who this if i look like a clown at least i did it for y'all don't y'all ever say i didn't do nothing for you because i'm i'm taking one for the team like especially your eyebrows because man that's like the main thing people look at on your face your eyebrows so they gotta be popping and then use an angle brush that you don't mind getting like messed up because i never use this before and i don't know if it's gonna damage your your um angled brush but i feel like if you rinse it right away then you should be fine if you let it like dry with the thing then you'll be like it'll be done for i did oh girl i got too excited and i need to go back in there and clean it bam so definitely q-tips are a must <laughs> So you guys are learning from me and take tips. Okay. I feel like they look cool. I feel like they look even. They look popping. But and then make sure you guys are doing this like make sure you have your area secure and you don't drop nothing because this is hair dye. So I'm being very careful in my bedroom because if I spill something like this, it'll fucking stain and I'm gonna cry want to like push the product in and push the hair out push the hair the opposite way so i am getting in those little crevices in between the hair so i am pushing the product in and it's getting in there like get in there and if you make mistakes it's okay you can always clean up that's why it's good to have the petroleum jelly because it's easier um to just slide and with the q-tips it picks up the product real quick so it won't have time to really stain your and then i also heard that people are leaving it it says to leave it for five minutes but a lot of people are leaving it for 10 minutes because with the five minutes it doesn't really do too much or it didn't dye it enough so i'm going to be doing the 10 minutes for 10 minutes and then i'll be back it is time okay I'm scared. Moment of truth, guys. Okay, now you just wanna. Okay, I dropped my phone. Whatevs. Now you just wanna take this out. Ooh. I'm like impressed. Cause I have like this shadow right here, and they look way they look darker than my original eyebrows. You guys, this one came out so bomb. Oh, I should have left this one longer. Wow. I'm loving it. I can't believe I've been like sleeping on this. Because I know like if you go to the eyebrow like threading place, they do have um tint for your eyebrows and it's around maybe $25. So I got this at the 99 cent store guys. So save you guys some sh money picked this up at the 99 cent store because i know these are around maybe 
um, between six to ten dollars depending on where you get this hair um, beard dye so if you can save your money get this for a dollar and then you can use it for like multiple times because the the tube is actually like it's 0.5 ounces and you literally need like a not even a quarter like a dime size of this um of the developer and the color and you'll have enough for your eyebrows today since i didn't know how much i was going to use and it was my first time i used more than i needed but now i know for the next time just to use a little bit but you're going to be able to use this i want to say like at least more than 10 times so that already in itself pays pays for itself because it was only a dollar and i definitely approve of this i love it don't ever say i didn't do anything for you guys because i almost sacrificed my eyebrows to look crazy for you guys to do this review so i i'm happy that it came out bomb.com and i look popping and these eyebrows are good to go and wash these eyebrows with shampoo I really enjoyed the process of it. It was super simple, very affordable. It only takes maybe, I want to say 15 minutes. To The application was like maybe five minutes to get ready and set up and mix, put on your eyebrows, and then 10 minutes to de develop the hair color. So I approve this. This is a great eyebrow hack. If you just want to tint your eyebrows or make them a little bit darker than your natural hair color, I just loved it. It was super simple easy and affordable go to the 99 cent store pick yourself one up save some money your eyebrows gonna be looking bomb so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or comments comment down below if you're new don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys